your girl, Pamela, baby. I am coming to you live on this beautiful Sunday afternoon from Dallas, Texas. I can't say that I'm happy to be here because it is my first time actually spending time in Dallas, Texas. Okay, even though I work for FFE and they have a terminal, their main terminal is here in Lancaster, which is pretty much Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth. I never had to actually spend time at a Dallas truck stop. Now we've all heard the stories. Like, I don't know what it is about Texas truck stops. Like a lot of them are jacked the hell up. Like asphalt tow up, potholes everywhere bathrooms just old as hell like I, I just I don't I don't get it and so far since I've been here I've had a crackhead approach me um, I had to shoot him off and I had another guy who I swore was security because he was in a black car with a safety vest on flagging my truck down and I'm thinking something is wrong with the truck or maybe I couldn't park where I was getting ready to park so I stopped the truck this fool asked me if I wanted to buy a laptop he had five uh boy no and from what i can see that shit true i'm right now i'm at the pilot and i've been here since friday and i've been here since friday not because i wanted to be but because the broker messed up double booked my load out of Arlington, Texas for Friday that just passed at 8 p.m. going to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is where I should be now, heading to Alabama to pick up my load for tomorrow. So that caused me to miss some money. And now I'm burning unnecessary fuel. So I can't get a load until tomorrow. So if you have plans to become an owner operator, make sure that you are in a position to always take a hit or a loss, okay? That's what I'll say about that. Even though this is not what this video is about, I'm gonna do my review, but I just thought I'd give you guys an update on what's going on with me currently, all right? So, I've been on the road now for approximately two weeks. And before I left home, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, not, bed, not, not Bath & Body Works, because I know I can get that confused too. Bed Bath & Beyond, the place that I find myself getting lost in because they have the largest merchandise when it comes to as seen on television. Those infomercials, if you've ever seen an infomercial and you wasn't too sure about the shipping and you wanted to actually see the product with your own eyes, chances are Bad Bath and Beyond will have it. So I went there on a whim and I ran across Arctic Air. Arctic Air. I don't have an APU on my truck currently i am planning to get an apu so i said let me give this a try right because it says it humidifies it um cleans the air and it cools your space no ac needed all right it sucks in hot air and turns it into cold air and it purifies the air as it pushes it out it is not a 12 volt, so you would need, you know, some kind of way to transfer the power. I have an inverter, so I plugged it in, and when I plug it into the inverter, it doesn't change the wattage or anything, so I'm not sure on how much wattage it uses, but it doesn't use a lot, probably a second of a second, uh, if we want to call it that, right? So it has the top, take the top off, you fill this with water. Um, they recommend that you um, use extremely cold water. I have a refrigerator on my truck, so my refrigerator gets freezing cold. So I put the water in, it goes to, it has a line. 
and then it has the cartridge in the front here that you can pull out and this is the cartridge that it comes with so since i've had it for two weeks um it was dirty so what i do is just take a um sanitized wipe that's and i'll just um keep the cartridge clean i don't know if they have uh refillable cartridges or you can buy and replace it but um i'm sure for now what i could do is um put some water in a bucket and drop a couple of drops of bleach submerge it inside the bucket of water and voila so you push this back in here uh, i don't want to tear it up push it back in close it and then you pour the water on top and it has also neon lights at the top turn it on as you guys can see i don't know if you can hear that but to me that is kind of loud for me because they said that it was silent on the box it says it's silent but i find that i can sleep through this as a white noise but it's still nonetheless it's kind of loud uh now i will say this whether i use cold water room temperature water or no water the temperature of the air that came out of the unit was the same so uh yeah settings so that's the second and then that's low so on the low setting it's really 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 quiet and has the instructions here um i wish it came in black to match my interior but i'm gonna get to the good stuff like i said do i recommend this product mm, it's hard to say and the reason why i say it's hard to say for whatever reason i want to say for about two to three months i have been suffering from dry mouth and i only seem to be suffering from dry mouth when i'm in the truck so it's something about the air in the truck that's causing me to get dry mouth but since i have been using this during the night with my ac on um the reduction of dry mouth has reduced tremendously okay so that's a plus in itself so i guess it's really doing what it says it does which is humidifying the air um i have tried to sleep with it on without the ac being on and i will say this it kept me cool in 70 degree weather when i stopped in i want to say that was alabama I didn't have to have the truck on and I remained cool all night. I did use it in uh, South Carolina, which is on the East Coast. You guys know that already. Uh, I think it was like between 75 and 80. It was a no-go. Yeah, I had to get up and turn the truck on in the middle of the night. I woke up sweating as if it was really nothing going on. I might as well have one of those small truck stop fans in my truck. It just did absolutely nothing. So, like I said to you guys, I am in Dallas, Texas. And you already know Dallas, Texas is not only hot, but it's hell. No go. No go. No, 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 no. No man okay you would definitely need to have your ac on and if you got your ac on there is no point of it however i do believe if i had two of these i think it might cool off the truck i just think that this space is just too large for one to actually work i haven't tried to i don't think i i'll plan on buying a second because these are 39.99 plus tax um you do have to keep the filter clean uh you don't want mold to grow on it so yeah that's my tidbit on this particular product 
I think it's made well. It's not, it doesn't feel like crap. Uh, let's see. I do keep it on at night. I do. I put it on, like I said, it helps me with my dry mouth. Um, and um, that's pretty much it that I can think of. So yeah, Arctic Air, you guys can give it a try if you like. But if you got any comments or questions, please drop down in the box. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Pamula Baby. I'm on all the platforms as well under Pamula Baby. Mula Ma, you are always thought of in this truck, and I want you guys to have a safe and productive weekend. I'm out.